that's what you need. Your bag with your popsicle sticks, some elastic bands, and your pom-poms. That's it. Fun. Oh, Gabe, Gabe has a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do with all those popsicle sticks. Are you going to make some popsicles, Gabe? No. <laughs> Nice. Don't cut off your circulation. When your finger turns blue, take it off there. All right, we're just at 10 o'clock right now. So I'll continue to let people in if they um, arrive. But today we're learning all about catapults. Oh, here's Kenzie and Cole. So today we're learning all about catapults. Has anybody ever seen and or made a catapult before? Yeah. Can somebody tell me what does a catapult do? Cool, what does a catapult do? It makes time. It, it makes what? Oh, can, yep, you can get you to somewhere, right? Gabe, what do, what do catapults do? Yeah. Yeah, so, so catapults were invented for warfare. All right. Honey, you're gonna have to tell me what your name is again. Harvey. Harvey, thank you. I will remember it, I promise. Harvey, what do you know about catapults? And some people uh, use them to destroy castles. Yes, they do. They use them to destroy castles, right? Because in medieval times, right, the, when there were castles, how would you get through that? It's all rock. So they had to come up with a way to get through the rock. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. But that's not really true. Um, so catapults are used to throw things or launch things, right? So has anybody ever used like, um, I know that when my boys were younger, they used to use slingshots, right? So they, it was a stick that had two sides and then you throw something with it. You hope that it is not a rock. Um, so they, but that is basically a catapult. So a catapult is used to launch something. Does anybody, can somebody tell me maybe how we might use catapults today? To launch pumpkins. To launch pumpkins, uh, um, so I, we use trebuchets. A lot of people make trebuchets, which is what he was talking about um, in that end, and that's basically using weight to throw an item, right? So it basically like spins around and then the force of it um, throws an item. But other than pumpkins, do you, can, does anybody know if we use anything today that uh, is like a slingshot? Harvey. We used, today we're, we're gonna use to make like a slingshot, two pom poms and some popsicle sticks. We are going to make them today, yes. But I'm gonna show you a video about how in today's world we use um, um, them. Does anybody know what that is? What's this? Doyle girls. Girls, what do you got for me? Maybe. Um, 
Yeah. 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 You guys got a little bit of a delay over there. Let's see. So Navy carriers. Yeah, Navy carriers, right? So let's take a peek. Aircraft carriers are one of the largest examples of naval force in the entire world. They're massive floating cities with the ability to carry airplanes into battlefields around the world. But how can these planes take off from such short runways, let alone land on ships in the middle of an ocean? The answer lies with the aircraft catapult system used by most aircraft carriers today. On land, planes utilize long runways to gain the speed needed for takeoff. However, on an aircraft carrier, the runways are much shorter, around 300 feet, compared to the 2,300 feet needed for a normal aircraft to take off. Instead of distance, a catapult is used to give the plane enough speed for takeoff. The catapult system doesn't seem like much when you see it on the deck of a ship. It looks like a line of track with a connection to the front landing gear of the plane, but it's capable of accelerating the craft from 0 to 165 knots in less than two and a half seconds. That capability is only possible thanks to the impressive below decks engineering of the catapult system. Before an aircraft is launched, high pressure steam is collected in large accumulator tanks. This steam is siphoned off from the nuclear reactors aboard the ship and stored in pressurized tanks, which can be dangerous if malfunctions yes. occur. Once the desired pressure of the accumulator tanks is reached, the valves are shut off and the catapult is ready to fire. But how exactly does a tank of steam cause a plane to accelerate at breakneck speeds? That's thanks to two pistons and a device that attaches to the airplane's landing gear, called a shuttle. Each catapult consists of two pistons that sit inside two long cylinders under the deck. The pistons each have a metal lug that protrudes through a gap in the flight deck where they attach to a small shuttle. This is the part of the catapult that will pull the aircraft across the deck at launch. The pistons will act like bullets when the steam is released. The plane is moved into place on the deck of the aircraft carrier, and a tow bar on the plane's nose gear is connected to the shuttle. Another bar, called the holdback, is positioned between the back of the wheel and the shuttle. At the same time, the jet blast deflector is raised behind the plane. The pistons are initially locked into place so the cylinders can build up pressure. Once the correct pressure, the aircraft is fired up to full power, held in place by the holdback bar. When the pistons are released, the force also releases the holdback and the pressure of the steam rockets the shuttle and plane forward. When the plane reaches the end of the catapult, the tow bar pops out of the shuttle releasing the plane. During the launch, which takes around two seconds, the pilot of the aircraft experiences about four Gs of force, which is a lot, but nothing compared to what they experience during high-speed maneuvers in flight. And All right, guys. But that type of catapult takes some engineering, right? Did you glue your pom-poms onto your... Oh, you, <laughs> you use the elastics to stick them on there? All right. So we're going to do this activity two ways today, okay? So we, I'm going to tell you that you're going to use seven of these and three elastics to make a catapult. All right. And then I'm going to tell, we're going to, we're going to all try on our own for just a couple minutes and see what we come up with. And then we're going to look at everybody's catapult and then we're going to maybe talk about a different, better way to engineer a catapult. So we're going to try and launch our pom-poms with our catapult. Okay. So this does not seem so what do we what do we know that our catapult needs what do we have to have what do we know that our catapult needs 
we have to be able to throw something, right? So do you think if I took all seven of these and like took an elastic band and like put them together like this, this is a good catapult? Yeah, Gabe says, yeah, this is good to go. I'm just gonna use my arm and throw it, right? Like this is not, I, I can't launch anything with this, right? So how do you think, and think that you could use seven of these and a couple of elastic bands to create a catapult. Don't tell me right now, you put something together and nothing is wrong and then we'll talk about it, okay? This is what engineering is. What's that game? So we have to use all seven of them and we can't use any more plastic or rubber bands. So for right now, you have, you're gonna use all seven of your sticks. Afterwards, you, if you guys have more sticks, you can try out different things. But for right now, seven popsicle sticks, three or, three or four elastic bands, and, and we're gonna use a pom-pom. But the pom-pom does not have to be in the construction. Your catapult is only going to be made out of popsicle sticks and elastic bands. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys just like two minutes to come up with something, okay? And, and it does not have to be right. This is how engineering and science works, right? We try different things. But I wanna see what you guys can come up with on your own before I tell you how to do it. Because um, what if you have a better way than I do? So, what's up, Gabe? Clock was going so slow. Yeah. It lasted for five hours. Did it? I just had to stop it because it was going on for too long. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, I like it. Hold on just a minute, you guys. Yes. Awesome. Oops. I think we lost the girls, but we've got them back. Hey girls, welcome back. All right, girls, so we're just taking a couple of minutes to take our seven popsicle sticks and four elastic bands and think about how we can make a catapult. We're gonna talk about how to do it afterwards, but I wanna see if anybody can engineer their own catapult. Cole has, Cole has a good idea. He thinks he's got something going on. He's got two with an elastic band. Oh, yeah. Harvey's got a catapult going on. I made one that with rubber bands. Yeah. And when you pull the back thing back, it shoots the ball. And it went off the table. Yeah. Awesome. So, does anybody else have anything together? Harvey's got something together. Priya and Beatty had something together. That piece up and feels the pressure in them. Yes. Awesome. All right, Gabe, what have you got together? Prototyping. You've got a prototype going. <laughs> Miranda, what have you got? Oh, Miranda's got two that she's tied together with an elastic. Oh, there and there. All right. Oh, and she's made a she's made a slingshot style, right? 
slingshot style. So she's shooting hers with two like this. She's got a slingshot going on. All right. Gabe, do you want to share your prototype? Still working on it. Uh, Priyam BD shared their prototype. Cole had his. Kenzie, do you have anything going on over there? What have you got? What are you building? I'm sorry. Could I tell what you said? I'm still working. You're still working on it. Okay. Well, let's just give you guys one or two more minutes. Cole's Cole's got his. He's just shooting. Oh, look at that. That's, yes. Woo! That went right up. <laughs> Mommy, you know, don't, don't go from to no idea to just push it up. Woo! I need it. I need that. I need it to watch my All right. <laughs> Oh, Mima, now it's down. Okay, so I don't want to interrupt Gabe's work. Girls, do you have anything? What do you? Did you get anything going on over there? No. They're building in the car. <laughs> All right, so let's let's talk about a little bit. Let's let's talk a little bit about how a catapult works, right? So we need something, when you have a catapult, you pull something back and it launches it, right? So that we don't, we're not putting in a lot of effort. So we know that we're gonna, if I just held one toothpick, right? I mean, one popsicle stick, and I put a pom-pom on here, I could just pull it back and launch it, right? I, if I just went, now let's see if I could not launch this across the bank, but at you guys instead. Oops, I did launch it across the bank. Um, so you can you can just throw a pom pom just by using your fingers, right? So, but how can we make that work with seven popsicle sticks? So, Harvey had a good idea. Priya and Vidi had their their idea going on, right? So what we want to do is two popsicle sticks. Gabe's got something going on, two popsicle sticks. Very, Miranda, what do you got? Very strong. Miranda, what do you have? What's your? I need another one. Yeah? In it. I can't really see. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. One, you would use both of them. Yeah? Nice. Oh, she's got two going on. All right, so we're gonna take two popsicle sticks like this, and we're gonna stack them on top of each other, okay? And we're gonna wrap two elastic bands just, just so that we don't break one around the end. As, as many times as you can get them to go around, okay? So now we're left with this, right? but it can split open a little bit. I might have to make mine a little bit more loose here. All right, so we wanna be able to pull it apart a little bit, right? Okay. So the, the thing about a catapult is, whew, I almost just snapped mine. So we wanna put something in inside to keep it apart, right? So we're going to put our extra popsicle sticks inside. And now that, do you only have two? Well, I used my oh, you other used that. for my you, Yes. So if, if you were to take that apart, and you don't have to, if you like that one, you can keep it. So the more popsicle sticks we put inside, the more pressure there is going to be to launch our pom-pom, right? So if this is sitting on the ground now, and I put my pom-pom on here, 
and let's see if I can launch it at you guys instead of across the bank, right? I can launch my pom-pom at you guys. The sparkly ones don't work as well. Woo. So you should be able to get, and then you can, to keep everything together if you want, just so that they don't slide out, loosely put another elastic band uh, there. So you end up with this, right? So you end up with a stack like this. Now this doesn't look super exciting until you try and launch something. Okay, let me go get my pom-poms back. All right. So if I put my pom-pom on here and I pull it down, woo, it goes really far. Yes, you can use a plastic spoon if you want to replace this top uh, popsicle stick with a plastic spoon, you can. Or you can use a bottle cap and glue it to your popsicle stick to hold your pom-pom. But I was trying to do one with the least amount of moving parts for you guys. So we've got our thing. Has anybody launched it really far? Girls in the car, don't hit your parents in the back of the heads with the pom-poms. No, no, we don't want any car accidents. We wanna see you at our next class. How you doing, Cole? Are you doing good? She's asking how you doing? Good. You're doing good? Yeah, I'm still working on it. You're still working on it. Awesome. How do you make that? How do you make this? Alright, so I'll, I'll take it apart and show you again, okay? Alright, so you take two of your popsicle sticks. So you'll have to unbuild everything you built. Alright, take two of your popsicle sticks, put them together. I'm so with and I use two elastic bands because I don't I don't like it it would hurt if it let go so so wrap the two elastic bands around like two or three times okay it can't be too tight because you need you need to be able to lift them apart a little bit okay so you end up you you end up with two popsicle sticks together like this that you can pull apart into a B shape. What if you're sh Cole? You want me to sh wait? Who wants to show me theirs? Was that Cole? All right, hold on. Let me. Yep. Let me just walk Miranda. So Miranda, after you get these these two together. Then you take the rest of your popsicle sticks and you stack them up like this and you slide them in between the, the other two, okay? And then to keep them there, you can loosely wrap another elastic band a couple of times around just so that they don't slide out, okay? All right, all right, Kenzie and Cole, you guys wanna show me yours? Sh yeah, go ahead, show me. What do you got? Oh, nice, whoop, yes. Kenzie has nice launching that pom-pom.
Harvey, let's see yours. Can you launch a pom pom pom? Yes, I can. And also, I tried launching two, and I and it launched both. Of them. It launched both of them together. This time, I'm gonna launch one. Nice. <laughs> and that's one. Here's the. Uh, I tried the two ones, and then they did this. Awesome. <laughs> and then we made it off the table. So the way that engineering works is now we can take what we've built here and yeah. Yeah, Miranda, you got, so Miranda, what you're gonna wanna do, honey, is um, hold the bottom, oh, sorry, hold the bottom. Let me, I'll put my thing down. Hold the bottom here and use your other hand to just on top of the pom-pom and then when you let go, don't only let go with the pom-pom hand, okay? And it should go flying across the room. The bank's gonna have pom-poms all over it. The cleaning people are gonna be finding pom-poms for days. So as you guys are home and you're playing around, you can figure out if more sticks work better or if less sticks work better. Gabe wanted to know if he could use more popsicle sticks and he absolutely could. Maybe, you know, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, we've got uh, five popsicle sticks in the middle. What would happen if we put six or seven or eight popsicle sticks in the middle? What would happen what would happen if the elastic bands were tighter here or here, or if we tied them all together? What would happen if we used something that was a little bit heavier to launch? Mini marshmallows make great things to launch. They, uh, I would do it outside unless your parents want ants all over the house, but um, mini marshmallows great, make great things to launch. You can try launching heavier things or lighter things. I have some little tiny pom-poms. Do those go further? I don't even, oh! That kind of went up and then came right back down. What have you got, Harvey? What do you want to tell me, bud? Marsh. Try launching a marshmallow. Okay. It went almost across the whole table and went super far. They do go super far because the marshmallows are a little bit heavier than the pom poms, right? So they'll go a little bit further. But I wanted to give you something that wouldn't break your parents' uh, household goods. So, uh, pom-poms it was. Girls, you're upside down. Are you getting dizzy standing on your head? different things. What did Gabe, what do you got there? You just tied them all this together. This is my, I That's yours? Oh, Gabe has a different, so Gabe, show us. So Gabe took one popsicle stick, tied it with elastic bands onto the other, and made it more like a, um, a slingshot than our catapult. So his were, Gabe, can you show us again? Yeah, show, can you put it up close to the camera so you can show everybody what you did? Yeah, so he has a massive elastic bands that he's using as the, as the fulcrum 
for it, right? So we're using popsicle sticks, but he's using elastic bands. So he's using the force of the elastic bands to throw things. How does it work, Gabe? Pretty good. Works pretty good? Nice, so that's some good engineering. So we are engineering some catapults. Add some more All right, so what's that? So I have a contest for you guys. All right, if it, before Wednesday, so you, ha you can have today and tomorrow, if you can record a video of you throwing a pom-pom and then tell me how far it went, the person who can launch their pom-pom um, or marshmallow the furthest, I will send you a $10 gift card to get some ice cream, okay? So, okay, so, so it's gonna be the person who can launch it the furthest, all right? So one person's gonna get a gift card. So you have today and tomorrow to engineer the catapult that launches it the furthest. You do not have to use this design. You can come up with your own design. Okay, you guys, so you guys can come up with your own design. And, um, and then you're just going to record a video for me of you doing it. And you can, um, if you can't send it to me via email, I can send you, um, just have your parent let me know and I will send them a box to drop it into a Google Drive. Okay. All right, does that sound like a good contest over the next couple days? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So I wanna see some great catapulting, okay? All right, bye everybody. Bye. I'll see you Wednesday.